putters from their inimitable antics, we're going to move to the art of a 15-year-old girl named Nadia. This is Nadia as we remember her, performing here at the Champions All Meet in London. This is the Nadia of the Olympics and seven perfect marks of ten, remember? You must remember the music, too. We used it to accompany her art in a mood piece at Montreal. After that, the name was changed to Nadia's theme, and it rose to the top of the charts. Nadia Komenich. How much has she changed from the way you see her here? Yes, we're here to see the fabulous Nadia, all right, but we're also here for another reason. This is not only an individual exhibition on the part of Nadia, it's also a team competition between the United States and Romania. The girls will be performing on all the pieces of equipment here, just as they would be in next year's World Championships or in the Olympic Games coming up in 1980 in Moscow. And the question we'd like to resolve here is, how good are the Americans, at least at this moment? In the Olympic Games in Montreal, as a team, they were able to finish no better than six. We have a feeling that maybe they're a little better than that right now. We should point out, however, that although this was set up as a team competition originally, the Romanians just this morning said they would much prefer just to have it as an all-around individual competition. The Americans, however, are still scoring it as a team, and so will we, so we can get this idea, as we say, of just how good the young Americans are. Somebody should, who should have some idea, before it even begins, certainly, is our expert on the sport, Kathy Rigby-Mason. What do you think about the American kids? Do they really have a chance here? Well, Jim, after watching them today in practice, they look very good. They're a new team, a young team, uh, new to international competition, and that could put them either way. They could either use the nerves to help them, or it could, they could blow it. But I think they'll do quite well. You can't forget Nadia. She's still hanging in there. Uh, she's looked steadier today than I've seen her in months. And uh, the only trouble she's having is a little timing problem. And that's because she's grown up a little bit and she's got 10 more pounds to cart around. Well, we're going to be seeing that. We should point out, too, that one woman is missing from the Romanian team. Teodora Ungoriano, a great performer in her own right, is ill at home. And now, now here she is. This is Nadia. All the other girls have already performed in the vault. This is the only event in which you actually get two tries, the best of two to count. She's been training so hard, Jim. I've never seen her train. I, I realize she trained hard for the Olympics and all the other competitions, but she's really under pressure here. As you pointed out in our opening, she is taller. She's almost two inches taller, almost five feet one now. They say about 15 pounds heavier. That would bring her up to 105 or thereabouts. That's right. As you say, her body structure is actually changing, too, and you say that presents balance problems, huh? Balance and timing, uh, especially on this event when she's, she does a Sukhara vault. And she doesn't seem to get the, the power from her arms that she got or the, the timing in the turn. Here she goes. Uh, you can barely see through those lights. It was a little bit flat. She didn't get the height that she got in Montreal, but it was a good vault. Still as serious, unsmiling as ever. Here it comes. Watch how she pushes hard. Doesn't get quite as high as before. A little low with the shoulders and steps forward. Thousands and thousands of flash bulbs going off. They don't do you any good when you're more than about six feet away, you know. Well, actually, the vault goes so quickly, it doesn't really bother you there. But if you're on the balance beam or the uneven bars, and you have to catch the beam or catch the bars, then it bothers you. All right, the second of two vaults for Nadia Komenich. Should she get a 9-5 here, the Romanians would finish this event, this first event in the team competition, remember, with a lead of 15 one-hundredths of a point over the United States. The United States girls have been doing very well, very poised and. For some of them, it's their first time in a big international meet. Remember, there's about 20,000 people here. That's enough to scare anybody. <laughs> That's right. When you started, they didn't get 20,000 people for gymnastics meets. They, they got about 25, I think. There's just a part of this crowd in the Superdome. That's the stand that they move out into the middle of where the football field normally would be. And this is the confirmation that's normally used for basketball. Fits in very well for the gymnastics sport. That's only one side and that small side at the end. That's the smallest seating capacity. It's a huge crowd back on the other side. All watching Nadia Komenich. Second ball. This time she's really going to have to think about landing it with no steps. Powerful runner. There she Ooh, goes. Nice movie. ball. That's the old naughty. <laughs> she has to be happy about that.
You see, the timing came out perfectly here. Good hip position, good pike, legs just enough behind her. Very good vault. Well, here's her mark, Kathy, Nadia, 9.60. That's the best of the evening in this event. Amelia Everly, her little teammate, was second. Donna Turnbow and Lisa Cawthorn in the United States tied for third. And in the team competition, at the end of one event, Romania leads the United States 47.30 to 47.10. They lead by only two-tenths of a point. We'll be right back in the Super. You are looking at a part of the largest crowd ever to witness a gymnastics meet anywhere in the world. The promoters tell us the official attendance is 20,483. Nowhere ever for the Olympics, World Championships, or anything have that many people witness a gymnastics meet. This, once again, is a dual competition between the United States and Romania. Of course, quite honestly, most of this crowd has come to see Nadia Komenich. They're seeing a very good meet so far, and right now we're in the uneven parallel bars competition. This, remember, was the Next event in which Nadia got her first 10 in the Olympic Games at Montreal. But right now we're going to watch 18-year-old Denise Cheshire of the American team. She's from Burbank, California, was fourth in the all-around of the 1977 U.S. Championship. If she can get through this mount without any trouble, and we'll see, right? Good girl, doing a real good job. That was her only weak point. She's working well. That's called a free hip half turn. Boy, she's working just super, Jim. Right. That was a made up move right there. You mean improvise she on the Improvised, spot? exactly. Yeah. And that's her dismount. She had little trouble. She's supposed to twist in that dismount. It's hard to get the timing. You got to hit just right on the top of your legs. And she's a Okay, we're going to take a look at that dismount in slow motion. She has to get a lot of height going into it, a good leg position in the air. She straddles over, and the bounce has to be very high on her legs. It was a little bit low, and she was supposed to twist. All right, here's the score, 9.30 for Denise Cheshire. Okay, good mark for Denise. Nice now here is Amelia Everly, 13 years old, from Romania, 4 feet 6. She's really dynamic on the uneven bar. She moves quickly, she swings well, and has a pretty unusual routine. That's a long way for a girl to go in between those bars. She reminds me a great deal of Nadia on this event. Very strong. Good She's template. even smaller than Nadia was at the time of the Olympics. And a front flip dismount. Perfect landing. Nice exercise. All right. Now here is Amelia's mark. 9.50. That's the best mark so far of any of the competitors on the uneven bars. And now the greatest female gymnast in the world, again, Nadia Komenich. And if you weren't with us earlier, you may not have recognized her. As you can see, her haircut's different, her figure is different, she's taller, she weighs more, but she certainly is, is still weighs in proportion to her build. Yes, but the weight, the extra weight she's not used to handling, it seems that her strength hasn't caught up with her, the size of her body yet. And uh, earlier, in the, earlier in the day, she was practicing on this event, and she seemed to have gained a little bit more strength than on the last couple of uh, months that I've seen her. But when we talk about weight, we're not talking about excess weight we have. It's just the weight she has put her on as she grows. Exactly. She's also developed a little more muscle tone. Okay, again, this was the one where she got her first 10 in the Olympics. Jim, she hasn't changed her routine at all. In fact, she's taken out a few difficulties. Has taken them out? Why? Because of the timing, because of the strength mm -hmm. that she doesn't have quite at the end. Mm -hmm. As you can see, she didn't get quite as much swing on that full twist. She is actually now the tallest girl on the Romanian team, if you can imagine that. She used to be the smallest. That's right. A little more trouble on that handstand. Not the exact same timing she had before. Here's her dismount. And she did a good job. Not as good as in the Olympics, but very good since I've seen her in the last couple of months. Okay, and the crowd of 20,000 and more is getting what they came to see. Fine performance by Nadia and a good competitive performance by the American team. Let's take a look at that whole performance now. You see that she, it does take a little more effort to get through. The opening is the same. With me. Now you see on this hand and this front flip, it's just right on the money. A little bit straight turn, not enough swing. Nice full turn. Okay, on this handstand from the front roll, you'll see that 
she doesn't go as smoothly as she used to into it. Little pike, then her legs come up. Should be all in one motion. And we have the American people. And she does go into her. She doesn't do the two um, flanges that she was doing before, and her legs came off slightly early. So I doubt she'll get a tan for that. <laughs> well, what she does get here it comes is 9.60 for Nadia. Still the best mark of anyone in this event up to now. However, we have an American girl coming up next to could do something pretty impressive. This is Donna Turnbow. She is the American national all round champion and national champion in this uneven bars also. She's a good one. She's a very classy mount, and especially uh, her whole routine is very classy. She does what's called stalls or shoots, which are a men's move, but Donna has no trouble with them on these bars. There she goes. Switch hands. Oops, get it up there. There she goes. Little hesitation there. Very difficult to know when to come out of those, when to shoot to that handstand. She needs to work a little bit on her toe point. Another, there she goes with another stall to shoot. Jim, she's really hanging in there. Certainly is. Well, that mark of Nadia's put her on the top. All right, and listen to this mark, 9.60. That ties her with Nadia for best score in the uneven bars. Third place going to Amelia Everly of Romania. Now in the team standings, it's Romania 94.30, U.S. 93.60. The difference between the two teams, just seven tenths of a point. Fine showing so far at the halfway mark by the Americans. In the United States and Romania, 20,483 people on the scene at the end of two events. That's the halfway mark. The United States only trails by seven-tenths of a point. I'm Jim McKay. This is uh, Kathy Rigby Mason, our expert on the sport with me. And your event's coming up. The balance beam, that's the one you won the silver medal on for the United States mm -hmm. in the World Championships in Yugoslavia. This event's going to really make the difference in, in Italy. They're put the, the two teams far apart, or we might have some upsets here. Okay, they're also having an individual all-around competition here, and in that, Nadia Komen each only leads the American Donna Turnbow by one-tenth of a point. And now here's the tiny one, who at this meet is in the process of becoming perhaps the new big name in international gymnastics, 13-year-old Amelia Everly. She is about four feet, six inches tall, weighs something under 70 pounds. You can see the beam is almost as tall as she is. She is. She does standing on a mat there. Go. She does more flipping movements than anybody in this competition. And not only are, is her is her tricks are her tricks good, but her ballet is extremely good too. I remember in the individual all around. She, she is goes. very close. She's in third place. Watch this move. Back back flip into a back handspring now. Solid as a rock. Into another back flip. Boy, is she solid. She sure is. She could catch Donna Turnbow and even Nadia Coleman each with this performance if she keeps it up. One more event after this. A little low with her back leg on that lead. Not enough to really hurt her. She's new to international competition and just goes to show you that it can be done. The poise is unbelievable. Before the largest crowd in the history of gymnastics, more than 20,000 people. She's a long way from home. Watch this move. Lay out on the balance beam. Not a tuck, not with her legs bent, but in a straight body position. Talk about strength. You have to have a great deal of strength to pull that all the way over. She's really doing well. All she has to think about now is her dismount. Two back handsprings. Full twist, high position. Amelia Everly. That name is not Romanian in origin. It's a German name. She, of course, is Romanian, a member of the national team, headed unquestionably for world championships and Olympics. Let's take a look again at those two backflips. Look how solid they are. Good height, her shoulder height, little pause. I guess eventually the best thing she could do is to not hesitate out of that back tuck and go directly into the back handspring. Right into the back tuck in an open position and just solid. Solid, all right. Listen to this mark, 9.75, the highest mark received by anybody in this meet so far. We're watching Super Gym.